Hi, sixth graders. My name is Mrs. Gray, and I'm one of the school counselors at Ram Middle School. On behalf of myself, Mrs. Gardner, and Mrs. Gove, the school counselors at the middle school, we'd just like to let you know how bummed we are that we missed our sixth grade transition meetings with you at your schools and at ours. So we thought it would be a great idea to send along the PowerPoint that we usually take to your schools so that you can have a little insight as to what you're going to walk into in the fall. So this is Ram Middle School. We cannot wait to see you guys. This is the main entrance and you can see those white doors in the middle there. That's where you're going to walk in. And I'll show you some pictures of what you'll see when you get there. So when you walk in those doors, just like the upper left hand picture, you're going to see a sign that says Ram Middle School. Down that hallway towards those double doors, you'll find our media center and you'll also find our gymnasium. And that's actually also where you will find the nurse's office too. So here are some important people to know. So these are our principals. So Dr. Sarusi is there on the left and our assistant principal Mrs. Bell um, is also there on the right. So these guys kind of run the school, but they're super friendly. They're easy to talk to. If you have any issues, feel free to come down to the office and they'll be happy to chat with you. So let's talk about some things you need to know coming into the middle school and what to kind of expect over the summer. So the counselors have been busy putting together schedules and those won't be finished until the summertime. So in August, you'll get a schedule home in the mail, which will tell you what your team is, who your school counselor is, and all of the classes and teachers that you have for seventh grade. So we have three seventh grade teams. Inquiry is split on seventh and eighth, and then we have gold and we have red. Each team has five core subjects, math, science, social studies, English, and reading. And then we have some really cool UAs, so the unified arts classes that you will also take. The really cool thing to know about the location of your team in the middle school is that you will have a pod. And in that pod, all of these core subjects are gonna be really close together. So a lot of times we have kids say, how many minutes do you have to pass in the hallway? Well, you have three minutes. And while that doesn't seem like a lot of time, I promise you it really is. So you might find that your math teacher and your math class is right next to your English class. So if you have math and then English, you're super close and that three minutes will seem kind of like a long time. You have to go to your locker, you'll have time to do that as your locker is also in those pods. We also have a STEM program on each of the teams. Um, if you are in the STEM program, you've already gotten a letter, so that would have come home um, and you tested for it and applied. And so each team will have one of those, but you'll see on your schedule if you did make it, it will say STEM math on there or STEM science. But really the most important thing we want you to know is that we really are a community within a school. So one of the things that we will do is have a team building day, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this PowerPoint. But we all come together to get to know each other. There's three towns and we really try to make it even so that some of your friends from other, you know, from your town are on your team um, and then you'll get to know new people. So we really just find that we are such a small community um, on our teams in seventh grade and in eighth grade. So it's just really nice to connect, to get to know the members of your team and I promise you guys, you will be making friends and getting to know each other really, really quickly. So here are the unified arts classes I was talking about. So you will have two quarters of PE. You might have it in the fall or you will have it in the spring. You'll have a quarter of health and then you'll also have computer science and personal wellness, general music, art or graphic design and a world language. So those world languages are French, Spanish, or Latin, which you guys have let us know what your first and second choice is for those a little earlier in the year. So these are the people that you will find in the guidance office. So I'm right there on the top. My name is Mrs. Gray. I'm going to introduce Mrs. Gardner a little bit later, and then Mrs. Gove. Um, each of us have a team. I'm currently right now with inquiry team. Ms. Gardner has a seventh grade team on red and Ms. Gove has gold. We also have eighth grade 
teams as well, but we'll stick with you and we'll be the people that you kind of come to when you have a question about your schedule or you're not sure why you're in a certain class, or maybe you're having trouble with a class and you're not sure who to talk to about it, or you're not sure how to talk to a teacher. We're a safe place to come talk. It'll just be us and we can kind of help you out with that. Um, if there's any issues going on with friends or issues at home and you just need someone to talk to, our doors are always open. So here are some other friendly people that you will see in our guidance suite. So Mrs. Craig up there, she is one of our social workers. Ms. Crowley is also one of our social workers. She works for AHM, but she's housed with us, which is really great. And then we have Ms. Bevan, she's our school psychologist. So if you come down to see your counselor and we happen to not be there, any one of these support staff can help you. You might even see Ms. Bevan or Ms. Crowley. They might call you down to talk to you. Um, maybe they might have you in some groups that we do together, but everybody is really great, really friendly, and they would love to get to know you. So please feel free to come on down and say hello. One important thing you're gonna hear a million times is that you are never in trouble when you come to guidance. So lots of times the phone will ring in the middle of class, um, and we try to call you down to have a quick conversation with you and it could be anything. Um, it could be something about a schedule change where we just need to ask you a question about something um, or we wanna go over your grades, but you are never, never, never in trouble when you get called down to guidance. Another thing that's important to know is that we really try not to take you out of any of your core classes. So you might get a lot of um, phone calls in your classes in advisory or an intervention lab um, that's where we kind of like to take you out and, and talk to you for a little bit so you're not missing any of your core classes. Obviously, if it's an emergency and we need to call you out, then we will do that. And we expect that if it's an emergency and you need to come to talk to us, that you'll just let your teacher know and you can come on down as well. And before I introduce Mrs. Gardner to talk about the rest, here are just some other people that we want you to be aware of. So I mentioned in the beginning that across from the gymnasium is our nurse's office. And that was kind of strategically placed just in case anything happens during PE time. But again, everyone is super friendly and super easy to talk to. So this is Mrs. Morse on our left. She's super nice. She joined us this year. Um, she's a great person to talk to. And so is Mrs. Kelquist, our health office paraprofessional. You will see her as soon as you walk in and she will let Mrs. Morse know that you are there. Um, so that is it for me. I'm going to turn you over to Mrs. Gardner, but I just want to let you know before we go that we promise you that we don't, we don't want you to worry because we promise you that we will definitely give you the tour and have time to ask any questions before the year starts next year. Um, we're here for you and we know that you guys missed out and it's one of our favorite things to do. So again, we're sad too that we missed you, but we promise we're not just going to let you out there to figure it out. We will go through all of this with you and we will answer all of your questions come the fall. So we're excited to see you and I'm gonna hand it over to Mrs. Gardner. As many of you have probably heard from your elementary school teachers, homework will be a big part of your middle school career. To help with homework, we will issue students an agenda book when they come to us in the fall. We encourage students to write down their nightly homework in their agendas each day. If a student forgets to write down an assignment, we have a homework website that they can check. Teachers update the homework website by Monday afternoons with the homework assignments for the week. We encourage students to use the homework website as a backup to their agenda books. Parents and guardians can also access the homework website to see what their child has for upcoming assignments, projects, and tests and quizzes for that week. This also helps students plan what their week will look like. Students and parents and guardians will also be able to access grades in our parent portal. Information on setting up your parent portal account will be sent home with your schedule over the summer. We encourage students to set a regular time to do homework each day. Doing nightly homework is an important practice of the skills you're learning in class. If you're having difficulty with a homework assignment, we encourage you to email your teachers to let them know. We also encourage you to seek help when you need it. You will often hear us say that we want you to self-advocate. What that means is seeking help from your teachers or school counselor when you need it. As you become more independent, it's important to reach out to someone if you're struggling. This might mean approaching your teacher with a question about an assignment or a grade, 
or approaching your school counselor if you're having difficulty in a certain class or with your peers. These are just a few of the good habits we want you to learn during your time with us at the middle school. Here's a picture of one of our lockers. Each student will be issued a locker where they can store school supplies and personal belongings. Lockers are located in the center of each team pod with classrooms immediately surrounding them. Students will have three minutes in between classes to go to their locker, use the bathroom, or get a drink. Students, if you're worried about getting lost, that is okay. You most likely will get lost for the first few weeks, but you'll quickly learn your way around. We suggest asking a teacher for help if you can't find where your next class is. Teachers understand you're still getting used to the building and will not penalize you for being late to class. Please know that we will give you a tour of the building when you arrive in the fall to help you get more comfortable with finding your way around. And now on to a lot of people's favorite topic, lunch. Lunch is 25 minutes long and we have two lunch waves during the day. Each lunch wave is typically made up of one seventh grade team and one eighth grade team. The first lunch wave is from 1040 to 1105, and the second lunch wave is from 1125 to 1150. Given that school runs from 717 to 210, we strongly suggest students eat a good breakfast in the morning, as they'll have to go a few hours before eating lunch. Parents and guardians can load money into their student's account online so that they have money available to use in the cafeteria. Students have a few different options for a hot lunch each day and can buy ice cream, chips, cookies, salads, pizza, and a lot of other options. Parents and guardians can also check their student's account to see what they may be buying for lunch each day. Students are allowed to choose their seats at lunch and they will sign up for that table and remain seated there for the quarter. We do also expect students to clean up after themselves in the cafeteria, whether this means wiping down their tables or sweeping the floor, unless they have certain food allergies. Here are a few other pictures of our cafeteria. In terms of technology, each student will be issued a Chromebook that they can use throughout the day, but these are typically left at school overnight to charge. There is also a technology use agreement form that students and parents and guardians are asked to sign agreeing to use the device responsibly and for school purposes only. Students are allowed to use their cell phones on the bus and during the walk to and from the middle school. However, they are not allowed to keep their cell phones on them throughout the day. We ask that students turn their cell phones off or leave them on silent in their lockers. Students that are caught with a cell phone on them may face disciplinary consequences. So we suggest leaving it in your locker throughout the day so that you aren't tempted to check it during class. If you need to call a parent or guardian during the school day, there is a phone in the main office that you can use. You will just need to ask a teacher if you can do that. We have a lot of sports and clubs that we encourage students to get involved with. This is a good way to meet new people and try something new and fun. For the fall, we have a cross country team that students can join. Cross country is a non tryout sport, so anyone can join. We also offer soccer in the fall, which is a tryout sport. In the winter, we offer basketball and cheerleading, which are both tryout sports. Wrestling is another winter sport and anyone can join. Finally, we offer baseball and softball in the spring. Both of these are tryout sports. We also have a track and field team that anyone can join. Though it's important to get involved and have fun, we also wanna make sure that students are in good academic standing in order to participate in sports. Students have to be academically eligible to participate, which means they must have at least a C minus average or better and no Fs on their report card. There are also a number of clubs that students can join. We offer a ski and snowboard club that is very popular. We also have a Lego league and robotics club, a yearbook club and a drama club to name a few. This is a great time to try something new to help you make new friends. We have two walk around days scheduled for this summer where students can come in to walk their schedules, which they will receive in the mail in early August. Students can also try their lockers on these days. The walk around days will be on Thursday, August 20th and Monday, August 24th. We will notify you if these dates have to change. 
The first day of school will be on September 3rd this year. We also have a team building day for our seventh graders during the first few days of school to help them get to know each other and their teachers. They will participate in different outdoor activities with their peers, see an interactive theater presentation, and will hear from their teachers, school counselors, and administrators about life at the middle school. We also have a seventh grade dance during the first few weeks of school that many students look forward to. It is typically held right after school on a Friday afternoon and is only for our seventh graders. Please know that we understand your transition to the middle school will look very different this year than it has for students in the past. We will help you learn your way around the building and help you get used to things as quickly as we can. We understand many of you may be nervous and that's okay. We are all here to help you and we are all in this together. We look forward to seeing you over the summer for walk around days and in the fall when we're back in school. Have a great summer.